What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to the channel. So today we have a uh, boring task list. So it was an admin day at work. I'm tired of being on the computer and I'm gonna start probably trying to edit up a video. Um, anyway, I wanna get outside for a minute. I have a zero turn lawnmower that one of the pulleys went bad on the other day and started frying the belt. So. I figured now's the perfect time since the parts just came in and I'm at home anyway to go ahead and get that squared away. And then we have a little bonus because my wife ran out to take the kids to a park earlier and she kind of had a small accident. And let's see, I don't know if the light in here is good enough, but uh, she got into the bumper a bit with, I'm assuming like a dirt berm and right here you know the bumper is kind of pulled out uh and it broke you know pulled through the screw so <clears throat> gotta try to get that stuff done i'm gonna go ahead and pull a lawnmower real quick show you guys what's going on with that and then get that fixed get our yard cut because it's pretty long it's memorial day weekend didn't necessarily plan on being here so i want to get all this stuff done that we can and uh have a good time so here's what we we're looking at we so here is the old pulley that went bad um let me get out here and so you can see the light a little better the bolt that holds it bent really bad and all those ball bearings i guess two or three of them came loose kind of seized it up tore the belt up a little bit so uh, it's the pulley that sits right back there next to the tensioner pulley. Um, we've got everything here except for the new uh, blades. They should be here later, but I wanna go ahead and get all this stuff put on. I've got the belt pulley and a new bolt. I did not buy a washer. I don't know why. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can't get this old washer off somehow. Uh, that might be fun. Not worth it getting the bolt out. I gotta knock down a few threads and the washer won't come loose. So I'm gonna run down to Home Depot real quick and get a new washer and uh, Another thing also is that this looks like it sticks out further. Okay, so obviously this doesn't have a washer on it and also does not have a curb in it. But this one sticks out that far. This one, well, maybe it's about the same. I don't know. Pulleys are the same. Actually, this pulley. Might be a hair smaller. I guess let me try to pre-thread this bolt and see if it works, and then we'll see if we can go. Sure, this doesn't bottom out in there. Get the belts out of the way. Oh man, the belt's all wrapped around the deck. Hang on, wait, wait. I don't want to shake the camera too much. Um, well, hold on. It's kind of hard to thread on though. Um. Let's just go ahead and get the washer in there. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's go ahead and load the truck up. Run out to uh, Home Depot real quick. Man, it is hot getting in here. This uh, South Carolina sun has been sitting in all day. Home Depot, get this washer. Hopefully get this video actually started. We're like 20 minutes into the project already. Um, need to get this thing done. All right, just got to Home Depot. Let's see what we can get. All right, so just now leaving the Home Depot. Uh, it's honestly one of the smallest Home Depots I've ever been to. It's the one in Seneca, South Carolina. Um, I'll just compare to all the ones where I grew up in Atlanta uh, and the ones up in Asheville and the surrounding areas in North Carolina. It's, it's a really small one. But uh, 
I went ahead and got two stainless steel washers because I don't know how much like crush strength they need and they're very thin so I figured I'll double them up because the bolt looks long anyway so hopefully that all works out for us and uh, we're good to go also while I was gone the blades arrived um, look at this that Duramax right there it's not I don't know if I can get a good picture of it pull in here it's not in the best shape it's this guy I don't want to rag on anyone okay I'm not ragging on the truck I actually love beat up old work trucks you know they're awesome you can take them in the woods smack trees with it whatever you want to do right I have no problems with that the truck I had before this current Chevy was one of those it was an old dually Dodge and it uh man I'm shaking this camera everywhere it was a uh, a beat up old work truck and it just kept on going and it was just good but anyway um the guy has like 230,000 miles i've looked into it he wants like seventeen thousand dollars for it and i'm assuming that's just because it has some four link in the back and or track bars whatever you want to call it and um a tuner on it and a uh some wheels you know like it's not in a ranch hand it's not like a nice truck. It's not even that many upgrades, you know? $17,000 for an LOI, and the inside looks just like the outside. It's beat up a little bit. It is leather and everything, but I mean, I know the used car price or used car market's crazy right now, but ain't no way. That truck's worth, I would say max, like 12, 13,000. I remember my first Duramax was a 06 LBZ and that thing had like 205,000 miles on it and I remember thinking back then was it 205? 240 had 240 on it and I remember thinking back then that was dumb high miles um, and it is I mean it's still a lot of miles it's still a lot of wear and tear on the rest of the truck but back when I bought it it was like 2012 2012 2013 I was like 21 20 or 22 and um, I'd actually just started this business so I was 22 with an 06 and now an 06 LBZ same condition and everything probably will go for who oh boy I'm about to hit this an 06 LBZ goes for a lot of money now I mean I think I paid 11 for that truck when it was that much closer to being new and uh now we're we're what was it 12 years ago 10 years ago we're 10 years later and those trucks are still worth more in worse condition it's crazy all right so we officially got all the parts that we need so let's just get to it Now we gotta check and make sure that the blades we got are the right ones. We got the belt on, we got the pulley on. Took one of the old blades off. It's a little chewed up, you know, it's not that bad. Um, I was getting a really bad cut. But now I think it was just because the pulley system's messed up. This lawnmower only cost us like, you know, 700 bucks. Bought it because our other one broke. Um, just needed to get me one more winter. Ooh, ain't got grass in the winter. Just needed to get us one more summer and then we should be good to go. Um, let me check these blades if they fit. All right, so we got a lot more finished. If it doesn't work, we are going to have another video on trashing it. So let's test it out real quick. Well, seemed like it worked well enough. Uh, I know we have an engine issue though. Smoking like crazy. I don't know, I'm assuming it's got bad rings. Just need to get it through one more summer. Do one more summer, we'll be good. All right, 